Hello watch fans, thanks very much for tuning in. If you've got this far, you're probably a watch person. My idea is to give you a short review of the watches that are in my collection, which will hopefully be of some use to you. It shouldn't take too long and will give you a good overview of the watch, how it wears and how I found it. So it's my opinion, obviously. So we're going to kick off with a Ball Fireman Racer. This is the black dial version with the red numbers. Um, they are Aramaic numbers, obviously. Um, it has three hands, hour, minute, seconds and date. Um, the second hand is red with a double R um, logo, which is part of Ball's, um, well, it's Ball's logo. Um, they have, have it just underneath where it says Ball Official Standard Railroad and it says since 1891. It then tells you on the dial that it's an automatic. It has an ETA 2824 caliber, which is a great caliber, very accurate, um, low maintenance, and it's 100 meters water resistant. Um, so the 100 meters water resistant is backed up by the fact that it has a screw down crown, which is a really nice feature. Um, and obviously outside the diving fraternity, just an extra bit of security for if you want to take this watch in the water. The crown is also signed with the double R motif um, and it has a really nice case back with a picture of a train on it which brings us back to ball um, watch company the whole idea behind this company is to do with the american railroads it's got a really nice history and a genuine history um, it says on the dial 1891 that was the year that there was a rail disaster and they decided that they had to get some kind of timing uh, device watches for the railwaymen that couldn't be accidentally um, change. They couldn't accidentally change the time, and that were accurate enough. Um, and the accuracy was uh, quite intense for that time. So great history. Uh, this watch has a forty millimeter case. Um, it has a twenty millimeter lug. Um, it's not too thick. I'm not exactly sure of the millimeters, but I reckon that's kind of we're getting towards twelve or thirteen mils thick. Um, I will double check that and if I'm wrong I'll put something up to tell you. Um, most importantly and probably Ball's biggest feature is that they have these micro gas tubes on the dial so where you would normally find luminous material on say a dive watch or a Rolex on this watch they actually have these small test tubes which are filled with a material which glows all the time so even though it's light in this room the watch is actually glowing obviously my eyes can't see it but as soon as the lights go down this lights up like a Christmas tree and the biggest feature of this is that it glows all the time. There is no um, needing for it to be charged by light. A bit of dust on the dial there. Um, and uh, on the screen, sorry. Um, and uh, it will glow all the time. And they last for about 25 years. After 25 years, they're not going to be as bright and you would need to get the dial changed in order to have that glow again. Whether you chose to do that or not, totally up to you. But Ball are set up to do that. It's part of what they say in their bump on their website. You can still buy this watch new. It's just a smidge over a thousand pounds. And uh, I think that's pretty decent value for what you're getting here. So just to give you an idea of the size, 40 millimeters. I'm just going to take this one off. I don't have a Rolex Submariner to show you, but I do have a Yacht Master, which is also 40 millimeters. So if you look at these two now, you can really see how the small bezel compared to the Rolex's larger, thicker rotating bezel allows them to have quite a large dial across, um, which is really good for instant reading. You can read the time so easily on it, day or night. Um, and course these glow dials if you work in an environment where you're in the dark a lot um so say working on the railway tracks in the evening um or for me i'm a musician i used to work in a theater pit where it was obviously dark and this watch was amazing i could just look at it and and i could see the time when the lights were down no fuss at all um so i really like it it's been in my collection for about six years now um, I keep a rolling collection. I sort of buy and sell watches just to keep my interest. And this watch has managed to survive just about every cull, which is probably as good a uh, reference as any. Um, it's stainless steel. It's a hefty watch. It feels like quality. The bracelet that comes with it has these thick links and it doesn't taper. So if you look at this 
bracelet compared to the Rolex bracelet. You see how the Rolex one gets thinner. This one doesn't. It stays the same thickness all the way down. It has a um, hidden clasp. So when you close the bracelet, it clicks like that. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any kind of micro adjustment on the bracelet. You have to remove the links and you get half links with it. So I've managed to get this to fit me really nicely. Um, and on the wrist, it looks like this. So you can see, wrong way, you can see how it's not a small watch, that kind of military style, but now in a larger case than you would have found at the end of World War II. Um, it's a smart watch. I really like it. The biggest feature of it is that it's readability at night time. I hope you enjoyed the review. Please leave any feedback that you have. It would be gratefully received, constructive, hopefully, and uh, I'll come back with another review pretty soon. Thanks very much.